All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon from whatever time frame and wherever you are. Thank you for uh, joining. Um, so I'm working on a project and I hit a little bit of a snag and um, it definitely cost me about um, a good amount of my time trying to figure it out. So um, it's not an error, it's, it's the first time that I made this error. It's a stupid one, but um, <laughs> Uh, in this field, we, we do make a lot of errors, so it doesn't matter how long you've been in there, um, you'll you make an error in there uh, once or twice, and you're like, what? How, how did this happen? But in any case, um, it happened to me. I'm sure it won't be the last time, and it cost me... Uh, it cost me a couple hours trying to figure out what's going on, and, and once I figured it out, I also realized why it cost me so damn long to figure out is because the solution was where I least expected it to be, because I wasn't expecting to make that type of mistake. So what am I talking about? Um, so let me show you. The, this error right here. Okay, so I'm trying to register a user um, uh, for a project that I'm working on, and I got I got an uncaught, uh, unpromised error, and it says request failed with status code 400, which is true. I'm 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 so the reason that I, that um, I'm purposely triggering this this error uh, because I want to make sure that while I'm registering this user, I have all the fields required. The user is sending all the fields that I require, like the first name, last name, email, um, and password. So in my code, um, if you're paying attention, you, you probably would have already um, figured out why, where that error was. So this is the logic so far, okay? Um, also, I haven't hashed any password yet, so that's all that code is saved right here. So pretty much what I'm doing is I'm receiving the code, I'm receiving the data from the user, uh, email, password, first name, last name. I'm verifying that all those fields are there. And yes, for, the, for all of those uh, that are there, I know I can probably just use Express Validator, but mm, I'm not doing that, okay? I decided to, to go against it on this project. I've used it before, love it, just not using it on this one. Um, so it's I'm checking if if the email is not provided, send this error. Password is not provided, send this error, so on and for, so forth. Okay. I am triggering the 400 and I'm sending in an array. So if I'm getting multiple, if multiple of those are not pr present. It's sending an array for each and every single. Uh, not an. It's sending uh, an array containing each and every single of those errors being triggered. All right. So this is the code that is being triggered. All right. Now let me show you how this works. Let's recreate this. So I'm sending the the last name. I'm not sending the first name, and I'm also I'm sending the email, and I'm also sending in the password. So let's register, and here it is, the uncaught error, okay? Now, here's what tripped me, okay? When I originally wrote, uh, was working on the back end of this, I was on Postman, okay? And if I have all of my fields there, so let's say uh, first name, Let's call this uh, admin, okay? It's supposed to return to me this, which is what I'm asking it to for now, okay? Um, the unhashed, I haven't saved this into the, 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 the server yet, so it's supposed to send me the, the user. Okay, now if I remove any of the required fields, let's say the first name, I'm supposed to get this. So in Postman, it's working fine. It's telling me the error that I'm getting, but in the client, it's not. 
in the client, I'm getting this error. So where's the problem? The problem is not on my server. The problem is on my client side code, okay? So I'm using context API. So if I go to, if I go to the client side, okay, I go up to my auth state, and here's the problem right here actually let's uh, let's get rid of this alert the problem is that this line 25 is supposed to be inside of my try and catch bracket so if we take line 25 we move it inside here that solves the problem okay now let's try again that post i'm still gonna get that post um that error but i'm not gonna get this one okay so let's try it let's uh allow it to reload remove the first name send register and boom I get this because I did get the 400 error, but I'm also getting the toast toastify notification that I'm supposed to be receiving. Okay. Um, so uh, again, um, let's uh, recreate so you'll know exactly uh, what error that I was getting. Let's move that back here save and wait for the reload reloading get rid of this register and here we go so it's it's uncaught in promise error so if you ever find yourself with this type of error just go back to retrace into your try catch and, and see where your code is if the if it's in the proper placement that'll save you a couple hours hopefully this um, this uh, this little video um, <laughs> help save you a few hours of your time. Thank you and have a blessed one.